Picnic.com is one of my very favorite ways to edit photos online. There are many reasons that I love it, but probably the most important reason that I love it is that it is free. There is a paid version, but we can do the basic editing that we need to today using the free version. So we'll get started. We're going to be editing a product photo, especially for those who create handmade items and photograph them themselves and upload them to sites like Etsy. First of all, you'll need to visit picnic.com. Don't forget about the spelling, P-I-C-N-I-K.com. You'll click Get Started Now. You will not need to sign up or insert any username or password. You can just click Get Started Now. Once you arrive on this page, you'll simply click Upload Photo and then navigate to the spot on your hard drive or external drive where your photo is located and then you'll open it. Once the photo loads, I'd like you to notice the bottom right hand corner of my screen here has an exclamation point and it has the dimensions of this image. The exclamation point, if I click on that, tells me that this photo is especially large and it could cause Picnic to run more slowly. And for this particular illustration here, I don't want it to run slowly. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce the size of the image just so that things will run a little bit more quickly. So I'm going to come up to resize and then I'm just going to cut this image in half and so I'm going to insert 1320. Notice that the keep proportions box is checked so everything stays the same it just reduces the file size a little bit and then you click OK. Now you'll notice that the exclamation point is gone and the program should move a little bit more quickly for you. Next, we're going to try the very first thing that sometimes helps and sometimes doesn't, but I always recommend that you try it, and that is the Auto Fix button. We're going to click on that, and then what I'd like you to do is pay attention to the image and see if it changes. It does change a, a good bit here. I did see, and if you come back over here to undo, you can see the difference. I did see a very strong bluish cast here at the beginning on the original photo and that was definitely not appropriate for what we need to upload to a handmade site so we need to get rid of that and the auto fix button did seem to solve much of that so we'll try that again wow that's a big difference there so you can try that first sometimes auto fix does make a big difference and sometimes it makes the photo worse I've seen that on many occasions so on this particular photo it did help but it may not help necessarily for your photos but I would definitely recommend trying that first now I'm looking at a few issues here with this photo. I see a few. I see a wrinkle over here in the background, which may not be a big deal, but I do notice that. And then I also notice here an area where I photographed the table that this paper was sitting on, and I definitely want to get rid of that. So I can try the rotate function first, and I'll show you how that works. So just click on rotate. And of course you can rotate left or right. This would be a 90 degree left or a 90 degree right but I just want to straighten the photo a little bit and so if you'll watch this corner here and see what happens as I straighten it. Just turn it gradually to the right here and that takes care of that corner problem but it did cut off some of my penny here that I was using for staging so let's reset it and see the difference again. Yes, it, it's cutting off too much of the penny there I think so I'm going to try doing that through a crop at a later time here in just a few moments we'll do that but I think uh, that straighten function can work sometimes but that might be an option for you in the rotate if you ever need to do that. Next let's come to the exposure and check on that. The exposure is basically just the brightness of the photo and it's going to be very important. There is an auto fix function here as well but you can manually do this. Simply click exposure and then pull the slider and that's obviously too much you just have to play with it and if you brighten up the exposure just a little bit then sometimes you can bring back in the darkness with the contrast slider so you just need to experiment here and see what you can come up with I really want to keep the detail of the beading here on this purse so I want to make sure that that doesn't get washed out but at this point that's looking pretty good so I'll click OK now I would like to try to experiment getting rid of this blue here just a little bit more so I'm going to click on colors and let's try the neutral picker here for a moment what you'll do is you'll click on the neutral picker and then you will come down to an area of the photo that is supposed to be white so I'm going to come over here to the edge and click on that and sometimes it's hard to tell if it really made a difference if we click reset 
and then maybe choose a different spot see how blue that is up there at the top this is almost still got a lot of blue in it so you just have to play with that a little bit and sometimes it will become pink if you notice what happened there I don't want that so I'm going to reset but just experiment with this neutral picker and see if you can get rid of some of that blue if you can and make this photo look as natural as possible when you're satisfied just click OK Next, we'll talk about probably the most important area of using Picnic for those who sell handmade products online, and that is being able to crop and resize photos accurately, so we'll talk about that next.